Hope Ice Arena for a non-conference matchup in boys hockey tonight as today it's the Breck Mustangs paying a visit here to the Armstrong Cooper Wings. Hi, I'm Jay Wilcox along with Dan Ficken. And Dan, a little bit difficult season for both these teams coming in. Breck's got one win so far and Armstrong Cooper's got two. Talking with both coaches, kind of similar stories. They got a little bit of young teams that are played well at times, but still trying to find themselves and play a uh, you know, consistent three periods. Right, we're gonna watch 18 sophomores and freshmen play in this game tonight. And even some of the upperclassmen don't have a lot of varsity experience on both these clubs, fairly depleted. So they're rebuilding and they're just trying to find themselves here now. Armstrong Cooper played Gentry Academy, a very good hockey team to a one goal loss. Uh, that was the high point of their season, though. They got a five-game losing streak, and, of course, Breck, they've only won one game out of five. We talked about uh, how these teams have had, you know, good matchups. Uh, uh, recently, they've both been in the same section, but that's not the case anymore. Armstrong Cooper this year back in the Class AA. They had kind of gotten, uh, remember, a couple years ago, we saw that great game in their section final, and now they know, though, at playoff time, it's a different world. So they're trying to get themselves going a little bit here and see if they can't get back to the 500 mark and, and then look to build from there a little bit in the second half of the Northwest Suburban schedule. Yeah, they're going to take it a bit at a time. Go with the teams they know they can beat and beat them. They know they're going to have trouble against the Blaines and the Andover, some of the really high quality teams. But there's something to be said about getting a win streak going against the teams you should be. Let's be the best of what we can be the best of. But they need confidence. That arms are, they don't have a lot of confidence right now. They need something to happen to kind of get them over the hump, gain some momentum, and start moving forward on the season. Let's talk about key players to look at in tonight's contest, starting with the visitors from Breck. And Nate Miller is a, just a sophomore, but centering their first line. And Coach Glenn Lang said, you'll notice him out there. Well, I guess he played as a freshman, too. But I guess uh, good speed, good hands, knows how to put the puck in the net. has got a power play goal for him. Uh, you know, if a sophomore can drive you, fine, let's go for it, you know, and let's keep our eye on him. I guess he can really scoot. And for the Armstrong Cooper wins the left wing on their first line. Definitely their most experienced varsity player, according to Coach Charleston, uh, Jonathan Essen. Well, Grandpa, he's the old guy, the experienced guy on the team. He was on that team that made a run in double overtime in Delano uh, in that playoff. So um, he's the scoring guy. Three goals, five assists, does a good job, keeps everybody calm when they need to get a kick in the butt. He tends to be the guy to do it, so he's kind of a leader. So we'll see how he leads this team tonight, aside from scoring goals. And he'll be playing alongside his sophomore brother, centering that first line here for the Wings. Both teams looking at this as an opportunity to kind of get themselves going on the right track, a game that both feel they can win. It'll be an interesting one here tonight. Brack and Armstrong Cooper, and it's up next here on CCX. CCX Media is the first place you go for local news and sports. But did you know you can sign up for those stories to go straight to your inbox on our website? Simply go to ccxmedia.org. Click on the subscribe button and from there choose which notifications you want to receive. Then we'll send your favorite CCX Media news, sports, and city events straight to your inbox. Sign up now at ccxmedia.org. And welcome back here as the wings in white and black in navy blue getting set for battle here. There is a look at Drew Blake, as we said, a junior. Jack Thompson's played their previous games in goal, and Drew will get an opportunity this evening here. And Coach Lang said, yeah, we got a holiday tournament coming up, everything, too. We figure we've got to, got to get him a little bit of work here and also give Jack a little bit of a breather as well. Mm -hmm. So um, I think it's a good thing, you know, you, you don't – Sometimes if one goalie is clearly the guy, you might play most of the time, but I think you still got to get a little work for that backup. Yeah. Reed Lucas, uh, his coach, Danny Carlson, a lot of good things to say about him. He said he's he's really kept them in some games. He said stops the first shot most of the time. It's occasionally where you know they haven't covered up rebounds as well as he would like, but there's a look at Coach Charleston, and we get set for opening faceoff here. Max Burns taking the draw against Nate Miller and the Mustangs control it. We are underway here in the opening period. Well, neither of these teams have been very good in losing efforts. Basically a four goal or a five goal differential when they lose games, but 
Um, both are young, and that's what we're going to see tonight. Ooh, a couple of quick opportunities for Breck on the first shift. And Lucas had to be ready early there for the wings. Turn around try here, and that one tipped and into his catching glove here. So Breck with a pretty solid first shift of the night here as they throw one on net here after the puck frees up out of the corner. Miller putting it out front, and there's a pretty decent opportunity right off the bat there for Josh Hansen. You notice two guys in front of the net for the Mustangs, and uh, I think they're going to crowd him all night. And uh, the defense of uh, Armstrong Cooper does not have any seniors. It's young, and it has trouble clearing the puck. And we'll see if they handle that tonight. Jonathan Essen throwing one in. Drew Blake will hang on to that one and get his first chance to touch the puck as a faceoff coming up in the Brack zone here. We are 40 seconds in and no score on the board. Brack got a pretty decent chance on their first foray into the wing zone. I like Drew Blake's pads. His leg pads are the best pads I've seen around so far this year. Pass flicked ahead over the stick of Anders Johnson and relayed back into the wing zone. Tracking it down there, Jamin Malone, the Falcons quarterback during the football season. Intercepted there. Carter Tyson might be Breck's best overall player, or most experienced too, the defenseman number 23. Puck dug out of there as the wings looking to counter here. Jamison Essen. Drops a pass back to his brother Jonathan. That one sailing up and over. It's into the netting. And so we'll have a draw coming up in the Breck zone as it was tipped out of there. So a little bit of fits and starts here. Some whistles early on. So look at Glenn Lang, the Mustangs head coach. And uh, the, on their roster, three out of their four coaches with the varsity level are Breck alumni, including Glenn, uh, an 86 graduate. And, Fifth year now as head coach. He's been around as an assistant as well. Kept in at the line there. And now banged back out. Andrew Morgan will chase it down here for Armstrong Cooper. Oh, and there's a oh, giveaway. Put out front. And they couldn't quite pull the trigger there as Luke Kern taking that pass from Miller. Now a little mix up at the blue line for Brack. Dane Yeager took a hit but got it to the corner. Now the pass coming ahead. Here comes Nate Miller. Miller cutting it back to the middle but could not get around the defenseman and back out it comes. Jabbed away there before a shot could be taken by Frankianas for AC. Got away there from Hanson. Now Jonathan Essen picking it up here for the wings. Cross to Johnson. Out front it comes. Here's a chance. A oh, shot nice and a goal. Play. Jamison Essen oh. and puts Armstrong Cooper on the board first. Boy, nice, nice play here between the two wings here. I think it's the brothers, wasn't it? Jonathan giving up the puck there to Jamison. Well, Jameson coming in, you'll watch a subtle little move if he just adjusts the puck, just a titch with one touch, and it gets him clear right there. And he gets in and he picks the side, right side on that, he's in tight. Just a beautiful play. Yeah, Johnson gave him that pass, his other Johnson. ringer there. Okay. Yeah. So I was looking, I'm looking for that brother's combo, Jay. I'm looking for the brother's combo. Well, maybe if we go back one more assist, it's possible. It's, it's his second goal of the season. Only a sophomore, but if your sophomores can start playing for you, that's a good sign. It's a good sign to get up quick, too. 2.29, the time of the goal for Jamison Essen, his second of the year. Johnson does get the lone assist. Fenceman falling there as it's played down deep here for the wings. Max Burns coming in trying to dig it free. And he's able to put it out front. It was knocked out of there, though, by Zach Watari. And then Ooh. nice shot on net there. And Drew Blake was ready for that one. Boy, that was a nice shot by Jamin Malone there up at the top of the point. He really ripped it good, and it got on um, Drew Blake really quick. And there was an Armstrong wing standing right in front. Armstrong Cooper wing, I'm sorry. 
think I'll just go with AC. Are you okay with that? Okay. Off oh. the draw. Jamison Essen had a trickle off his stick. Johnson then chopped it three. Backhanded forward there into the Breck zone, but here comes Tyson. Tyson getting the return from Miller here. They're top two scorers, uh, albeit with only four points between uh, for each of them coming in. They've had trouble scoring this year for sure. Well, Tyson is real smooth. They're looking like a senior. Lucas making a stop there as the centering pass found Charlie Tucker out front. Good response. All started by Tyson coming out of the zone. He was real cool and calm bringing it out. Got it down in and nice. Boy, they're really getting it in that slot, Jay. They really are finding a way to, and there's somebody always there. And Lucas that time, he made a good save, but he, had, I think, missed an opportunity to deflect that yeah. pass. It came right past his stick on that centering pass as he was just kind of turning his head. Tyson getting it ahead now to Tucker. Caught from behind, though, Jamison Essen picked his pocket. Nice back check. Left it there for Sam Burns. They don't get it all the way deep, though. Tyson out of there with it. Sending it now for Eric Nordseth. And Jamison Essen again on the back check, getting back to break that one up. 1-0 Armstrong Cooper here early in the contest. <laughs> and they're going to be offside there. A little zig zag at the line there, Jonathan Essen. Yeah, he knows it, too. <laughs> He's not happy with himself. You know, take it across the line, then make your move. Don't do it right when you get to the line. It throws everybody offside. Now look at both these teams. They're both giving up better than four and a half goals a game, and that's what's got to stop. The problem here with these two teams is defense. Comes up along the wall and kept in, and it, that shot hit an Armstrong Cooper player in front. As uh, tried to sneak it through and instead hit Frankie Anas. Picked up here by Jaeger. Jaeger shooting. Oh, Ooh, and Lucas the save. And then the rebound just cleared out of there by Ty Hogan. AC getting another good opportunity there. Watari carrying it now for Brack. He's all alone. Those are changing behind him. Did the right thing, getting it down deep. Ooh. Back out to Tyson at the point. Looking for the tip, and that one got in on net. And then it comes back and gets through. They're going to wave off icing here. Tyson will turn and go with it, looking for Miller. Nice. And eh, I thought he got a piece of it, but not quite, what apparently. Too. Interesting. Nice play by T Tyson. This guy is just cool. Mr. Cool. He did a nice job here just calming everything down, but get a good opportunity at the shot here. Blake's getting surprised by a lot of these shots, and I don't know if it's they're coming in on hard or he's screened heavily, but uh, you can tell this this might be a good night for him to get his legs underneath him for varsity hockey here. Battle for it along the wall here. Tanner Rausch in there working for AC, and he's able to come out of there with it. Forced to turn back, and he'll come point. And then the shot attempt there from Malone was blocked to the corner. That one thrown off the side of the net there by Max Burns. And again, they try to put it out front. And it's going to be icing against the Mustangs there as Oliver Cadu flicking it ahead. There's a look at Danny Charleston, the Wings head coach. One of my favorite guys around the league, really nice guy, and he really cares about his kids. He's done a great job with this program, and uh, uh, they're still continuing to be in rebuilding. They're not going to have good teams every year, but they get a two or three years, and they, he develops a good team that plays well. Nate Miller carrying it here for Brack, dropping it over now to Ty Hogan, but the offside there. Against the Mustangs, and we'll get a whistle here with 10.39 to go in the first. one nothing Armstrong Cooper, Jamison Essen, the sophomore center on their first line, scoring for the Wings.
Carried here by Johnson. Drops it over. Jamison Essen. Oh, I think he probably should have shot that one. He passed it to his brother, Jonathan, instead. That line looking dangerous early, though, here for the Wings. Flipped out front. And back over for Jamison Essen. He goes to Johnson behind the net. He's got Jonathan Essen out front. If he can get it to him, there it is. Oh! And it's a goal. Johnson will get his second assist, both to Essens. First one, Jamison. Second one, Jonathan. The essence of Johnson there. My gosh, what a beautiful play, though. He got it, and he got rid of it right away off the half wall and got it to Jonathan Essen in his wheelhouse, and he made no mistake. That'd be his fourth goal of the year. Positioned himself well right at the top of, edge of that circle and yep, got rid of it in a hurry. Well, Johnson will get the assist. Sorry, Dan. No problem. This, this line, Coach Charleston told us point blank, this is the Energizer Bunny line, and uh, they've showed up tonight. They have put in two goals, and they've played well, and frankly, they've done well in the offensive attack zone. They've given the goalie a, a relief and a break. There's a quick snapshot in, and Blake snaring that one off the stick of Jaeger, so another draw coming up in the Breck zone. Shots are even at 4-4, and Rex had a couple chances too, but uh, the Wings able to convert twice already here in the uh, first six-plus minutes of this contest. Yeah, one thing, Rex, they give up 44 shots on goal a game, and that, that's too many. Jaeger going hard to the net, and Blake able to stop that one. Boy, Jaeger showed a nice little burst there. Yeah. He really turned the, turned the Jets on there, and I like the way he didn't accept going way out wide. He, he cut it sharp around the defenseman so he could get a decent angle at the shot here. Yeah, it looked like he, he was going to the net either way you look at it. It was a nice move by a sophomore there. And they'll get better at those moves as they get older. But uh, another pressure on, uh, on Drew Blake. Off the draw, it kicks around, dump back into the Breck zone. They'll go D to D here to Tyson. Tyson. Smooth skater here for the Mustangs. Coming right up the middle, ran into traffic. He gets the puck back, however. Tyson will float it over. It hopped over the stick briefly of Eddie Martin, and then that one deflecting right out near the line. And off a skate, and the race is on for it here. Tyson will get back to it. Nice passing by the Mustangs. They try to break it out. Just to say that it's behind Nordset and thrown back in by Morgan for AC. Just little things like that can, can just change momentum really quick. You got a good breakout going all of a sudden, they're back in the zone again. Sam Burns dumps it in behind the Breck net. And Burns got a piece of that one, but then the follow up is Ty Hogan here. Three on three as they hit the line. That shot deflected wide and goes off the back of the net. Back out to the point for a long attempt, but that one knocked down. Now the wings back the other way. Jamison Essen firing up over the net. Kozak, the defenseman, getting there, but now the Mustangs able to get it on out. Hansen gaining control. They're changing behind him, so he's trying to eat up some time, get some help. Let's pass it to the defenseman skate. You think the first forward out's told to go right down the slot because that's exactly where he put that pass without any hesitation. Johnson carrying it here for the wings. Over to Jonathan Essen. Fires pad save. Jamison Essen then fanned on the rebound opportunity. Big juicy rebound there off another good attempt from that first line for AC. Here comes Tyson. Kicks it to his stick. Tyson trying to go to the net. It just squirted away from him. He'll drop it down to the corner. Try to come out front with that one, but pretty well covered up. McBean at the point. Now here's a shot. Deflects us alongside the net. Cormac O'Neill. Now they go to the point. 
And that went into the shin pad of Johnson. And they'll throw it back in. Brett changing up here. And Jonathan Essen will tip it in and head off. Nice little play with the stick. He knew he needed to get off on a change here. Tapped ahead by Aiden Cook. Cook looking around out front. Keeps possession. Cook will turn and fire. And that one just missed the net. And then a deflection that goes wide. Regained out front. Chop loose. Another try. Oh, boy. Jaeger very close to putting that one in as he went for the top corner. And then the next try in on net. And Blake will stop it here for the Mustangs. Well, Jaeger over the past two shifts has really put a mark on his leg. He's, he's serious about being a player. Oh, that did not miss my oh. We're Our angle is right next to that camera that shot that. And it was like, ah, he did not miss by much at all oh. there. And I, I, I'm with you on you got to hit the net, but on one that close, I'll kind of say, yeah, he, he had his target picked up pretty well, just didn't quite get it there. Uh-oh, penalty coming up on the wings here. Had a little too aggressive and to be a cross-checking call against Aiden Cook. Frankly, Eric Nordseth of, of Breck could have got one, too. They were hassling in front of the net. They didn't see it because they were watching the other one, but um, get a good look here. Right there is where they'll get that penalty. Yeah. He got on his back. He got on top of his back, and he pushed him down close to the boards. That'll get a call every single time. Off the draw, Brack wins it. Tyson up with it. Just a big power play for Brack right now. They, they need to get something rolling here. Armstrong's killing it at about 72%. That's about eight points lower than average. Tyson shot deflected wide. He'll work it over to the left circle, and that shot denied by Lucas off the attempt from Luke Kern. Back out, Tyson's going to walk it toward the net. Instead, hits the shin pads of Johnson, though. Now, Jonathan Essen going to tee it up on a shorthanded try, blocked up and out of play by Hogan. And we'll get a whistle here. A minute 20 to go in the Breck power play. They're down 2-0. Well, they could really use one here, Dan, as yeah. uh, the Wings have at times been kind of dominating. Well, we're seeing little things, too, like, you know, he's talking to his D there. You know, I mean, don't hit the pads. Make sure it goes through. Even if you're missing that, get it down deep. You got the extra guy. You know, just And those are little mistakes, little stuff that, that need to get fixed throughout the course of the year. And it's amazing what happens when they do get it fixed, how much different you look. Kern giving chase and we'll get to it. Now back out to Tyson. Tyson's long one there deflected up out of play as Tanner Roush. You can kind of sense Tyson maybe not trusting his teammates enough. He's kind of, you know, he's a great player and he's trying to maybe do a little too much on his own. Yeah. And you like a leader like that, and he's, he's a cool customer, too. He's, he ain't getting shook up about nothing. He does some of the right things, but, yeah, I think you're right. You hit it on the head there. Roush flicked that puck out. Mustangs bring it back in here on the power play. AC's really kind of conceding that blue line entirely here shorthanded. I mean, they're backing off. They want to they wanna support and make those shots come from outside. Tyson will drag it down deep here for the Mustangs. Now sliding it across. All the way back, it'll come to Hogan. He'll leave it for Tyson. Quick shot there, blocker save. Made there by Lucas. And they look for the tip out front as they try to go to Miller. Now a shorthanded rush back the other way for the wings. Rauch floating the oh, pass. Nice and nice play. back check as Riley Hansen had his stick tied up. Just a couple seconds remaining in the penalty, and then the Wings will be back to full strength. As Cook is out of the box, they have killed it off successfully. Driving the net here, Hansen, and then it's popped just high and wide. Boy, Breck was running the guy right down the slot again, too. The offside defenseman's got to pick up that weak side winger, the guy coming down the slot. Taken here by Jamison Essen. He'll float one in on Blake, and he's going to hang on. 
And we'll get a face-off in the Breck zone. 3.48 to go here, first period. Armstrong Cooper leading at 2 nothing. Goals by each of the Essen brothers. Jamison, the sophomore, started the scoring. Jonathan followed up about uh, four and a half minutes later. Both of them assisted by the third member of that first line, Anders Johnson. And they win the draw here. Jaeger firing. And a nice stop made by Blake as Jaeger got another pretty clean look when you... He's only uh, probably 15, 18 feet out yeah. front of the net there. That's Breck can't allow that clean of a look. Well, I like the fact that he ain't afraid to shoot. I mean, a lot of times sophomores, well, maybe I'd prefer No, he's shooting the puck. I like that. Wings looking to go to the attack again oh. here. Nice move. Shot went just wide from Honest. And unable to clear the Mustangs. Oh. Right out front, backhand tried by Jaeger, slithered slither wide as the defenseman got a little chop on his stick. Here they come again, though. Trying to go to the net was Cook. Breck a little bit caught in their zone right now. And that one tipped wide. Jaeger faking the shot and then lost it, but he gets it right back. He's a worker. My gosh, he's a worker. Sam Burns oh. a shot, and that one kicked out by Blake as they look for the tip. Pretty good shift here by the wings. Jaeger going to come right back at it. Jaeger firing. Handcuffed Blake there, but he's able to knock it aside. Breck will do anything to get a whistle now, including ice the puck, which they do right here. They needed that yeah. one badly. That was one of the more lopsided shifts of the game right there. As was Armstrong Cooper just on the attack, circling out front. You're going to see more number 23 in blue and gold here. I'll tell you what, Tyson's going to be out there a little bit more often. They were kind of double shifting him and then gave him a rest. And yeah, he wasn't on for that last shift at all. They need him back there. Jonathan Essence, turnaround try, sails wide of the mark. Getting back up to get to it is Johnson. Now Johnson surveys the scene, goes behind the net to Jamison Essen, try to go back to Johnson. There's too much traffic there. And banked on out by Bryce Blake for the Mustangs. And puck pops free, and Wings able to get the attack going. Tipped ahead by Johnson, but then relayed right back out. Morgan back to get it. Breck there first, however. O'Neill drops into the corner. Then a shot from a shallow angle. Kind of trapped alongside the net briefly there. Luke Kern digging it free here for Breck. And chopped out to center. Minute 35 to go in the first. Still 2-0 wings. O'Neill up with it, couldn't get it in deep as he took a check. Back across to Huatari. Tipped in, Malone up with it here for Armstrong Cooper. Oh, and there's a takeaway, but then slipping and falling was Patty Green before he could get a shot attempt away. And then the wings end up icing it here. You almost got to look at it, you know, like <laughs> Breck is like cursed for some reason. They Walked under a ladder or had a black cat walking with him. Had a good opportunity there. I think really, you know, I'd, just to get their jets going, I, I think it might be a good idea. They get across that red line, they start dumping it and sending two men in after it. And hopefully that can maintain some uh, attack zone time for, for uh, the Mustangs, which I, they haven't had a lot of this period, Joe. No, early on, they were, things looked a little better, but they have... And sluggish here down the stretch of this period. The Wings, I think, have had the best of it. Play just onside there. And, oh, that one's off the crossbar. Ooh. As Tanner Rausch had Drew Blake beat, but he got ironed. He was the leading goal scorer. He's standing at four, but Jonathan Essen is tied with him right now. But look at how quick he gets the shot off. Bing. Oh, yeah. That was on, on the goalie real quick. Yeah, Blake did get a little piece of it. That's yes, why the draw is inside the zone here, but then it skipped off the crossbar. I, I could tell there wasn't that traditional loud ping. Mm -hmm. It didn't hit it square on as because he deflected it. 
The only thing I tell Blake right now is just get out in the crease a little bit more. He's sitting in the net a little bit too much, and so far he's got pieces of it, but I get out a little farther. Tyson able to control that one here. Under a half minute to go in the first. Eddie Martin had it chopped away to the corner. Dayton Franke lines him up. Actually, Franke got the worst of it. He fell down. He's a, he's a big young sophomore, a really good baseball player and football player, too. And we're going to have a penalty, a little retaliation perhaps coming up here. And it's going to go against Brack as Patty Green gets the gate here. A little hooking. For a hook. Yeah, got it up underneath the jersey of the Armstrong Cooper Wings player. And we got a call for him. And here's an opportunity for Armstrong Cooper. Neither one of them have got good power plays right now. But you'll see the stick get caught underneath here right there. You see him pull the arm up. So that is going to do it for our opening period of play here at New Hope Ice Arena. And it's been a pretty good period for the home team. Armstrong Cooper leading Breck by a score of two to nothing. And they'll carry a power play into period number two. We'll be right back with first period highlights and then more as the Wings leading the Mustangs two zip after one. quick message it's about safe driving all right let's go anytime you're driving have the seatbelt buckle tight both hands on the wheel and your phone out of sight when not in your hand trying to text somebody back because if you do your car might get smacked the moral of the story just put your phone down the people on the road will stay safe and sound put your phone down put your phone down people on the road will stay safe and sound yeah <laughs> Welcome back. The Wings logo here at New Hope Arena. Armstrong Cooper leading Breck by a score of two to nothing after the opening period as we check out some highlights from that first 17 minutes. Good opportunity right there and nice reception of the pass. Johnson put it right on the tape. Game is an S in scoring just 229 into the game. The sophomore getting his second of the year. Breck getting a great chance there, but Lucas just able to close the pads in time. And another pretty decent chance there. He got a stick on that one. But more and more as the period went on, it was AC. And there's Jonathan Essen camped in the circle. Johnson finds him, and he quick one-timer buries it. 6.48, the time of that one. Johnson getting his second assist of the night. Fourth goal of the year for Jonathan Essen. And you see uh, the more and more as the period went on, I thought the wings were... were very much in control and as Dan and I were just talking the SNS and Johnson line was easily the best line on the ice in that first period now Brock took a penalty right at the end of the period with 11 or not quite the end but 11 seconds off so AC will be on a power play for a minute 49 when period number two begins they already have a two to nothing lead we'll take a timeout. come back with more here hope you're enjoying this one so far and again a reminder armstrong cooper fans we will be right back here wednesday night for the wings game with hopkins as well hey well
world, I have a quick message. It's about safe driving. All right, let's go. Anytime you're driving, have the seatbelt buckle tight. Both hands on the wheel and your phone out of sight. When not in your hand, trying to text somebody back. Because if you do, your car might get smacked. The moral of the story, just put your phone down. The people on the road will stay safe and sound. Put your phone down, put your phone down. People on the road will stay safe and sound. Yeah. <laughs>Welcome back. There's a look at Reed Lucas. Stopped all five shots he saw in the first period, and it's kind of deceptive because, as we saw in our highlights, very early in the period, he actually did have to make a couple of pretty difficult saves for the Wings, but didn't have as much work as the period went on. And i, I got to believe that Coach uh, Lang and his staff for the Mustangs probably talking to their kids about, we need to compete a little bit harder than we did later in that first period. It just seemed like they were... The effort kind of waned a little mm -hmm. bit, and obviously you give the wings some credit for that too, but I think he wants to see more. And he kind of talked about that sort of how things have been this year. He said at times, you know, even talking about some of the good teams they'd scrimmage, like a Stillwater, he said, when we really play, we, we're a decent team. We can hang with those teams, but it's just, you know, do you, do you play a full period, do you play a full three periods? And again, with young players, I think you're seeing that a little bit on both teams. And the Wings, you know, back-to-back -to -back home games tonight and or this week, I should mm -hmm. say, and I think mm -hmm. they're, you know, you can sense that they're pretty excited and, and coming out and trying to get after and get a win here tonight. Well, Coach Charlton looks pretty happy right now. But if you're Breck, I think, too, you know, you got a young team. So how do you get that energy level up? I think they ought to switch by you get across the red line, dump it in, and make sure two people are going hard on the puck. And just get that rolling and see what you can create. I mean, they know where to go in the offensive zone. They just need to get a hold of it first and keep it out of the wings' hands and uh, move it around. So I think I'd start dumping it and getting the legs going, and then you can start finessing your way through. Armstrong Gruber, the only thing I worry about is just clear the puck out of there after the first shot. And that young man's got to get going too. Nate Miller. He had a few good opportunities in the first period, but most of all, he's mostly he's pretty quiet. Again, Breck shorthanded to begin this second period, so it'll be an important kill for them, already trailing it by two. But I know we've talked about this in past years. I kind of feel like sometimes you're not, to start a period on the power play, you're maybe not quite back into the swing of things yet. It isn't maybe as quite as easy to, to quit, start dominating on a power play as you might think early on. Offside. Apparently. Yeah, I think you're offside. You're right, Jay. I mean, you're right. And, and, and frankly, as, as a coach, you loved having a power play to start the but you didn't like having a power play to start the Because you had him talking about, like, look, guys, you know, don't slack off. This is when you turn the Jets on. Let's go. Sam Burns up with it here for the Wings. Banking oh. ahead, Jonathan Essen, leaving it for Jamison Essen. Back out to Burns. That one deflected, and now the referee getting caught up with one of the Mustangs, and that almost allowed a great scoring chance. Jonathan Essen working his way back out high. Now turns and fires, and right into the B logo there on Drew Blake's chest. That's a senior. That move, that's a senior move, and he came, brought it all the way up, turned around and got himself in position, and he got himself a good shot. See here, look at how he comes around. He's taking his time, then he moves it just to the side to get under the stick and beyond the skate at the defense and got a shot in. Mustangs clear it on the second try there as Kadu sends it down the rink. Lucas stopping it there from a Kozak. He gets the pass back. Dumped in now. Jonathan Essen trying to find it. Uh oh, that one hit the referee and he is down. He's going to have a little red mark on that face. Ouch. Looks like it caught him in the nose or Ooh. mouth there and coming off. And he is heading right back toward the locker room area, it looks like, perhaps, or a bathroom. And pretty good gusher, it appears. Passes of the game, you know, you don't notice referees, but they can get beat up pretty good. See this puck dumped ahead here and ouch 
And you knew that it was, when they blew the whistle that quick, it's like, ah, yeah, that's not good. And let's hope he's going to be all right here. I think they're probably going to go with two for the time being. Oh, right on the nose. Yeah. Oh, I took a few of those in my lifetime. Ouch. About a half minute to go on the power play here. That shot seals up and over the net. Now way back across. Johnson from his skate to his stick here now. Trying to find an opening. Turns and fires. Missed the net. And the Mustangs able to clear. Down toward... 10 seconds to go in the power plays. McKozak comes back to get it. So we're playing with two officials, at least for the time being. I don't know if he's going to come back or not. Jonathan Essen up the left wing, fires, and that one sails over. Mustangs back to full strength, so they're able to kill it off. And Doug Free there as Jonathan Essen wasn't going to allow an easy out for O'Neill. That was a nice play. That was a nice veteran play. Martin getting it into the wing zone. Jamison Essen up with it. Banks it around there to Makozak. He's forced back the other way. Now clearing it up the wall. And Jonathan Essen will get to it here. Couldn't get the puck in deep. I think he's at the end of a pretty long shift here. Now bring it out front <laughs> and falling down was Morgan. So he just got rid of it. Jamison Essen up with it. Now Jonathan Essen trying to slide it out front. Nice read though. Interception by Tyson. Tyson leading the rush here for Brack. Tyson, great move to the net. And then he goes sprawling into the end boards. He clipped the outside of the net and Tyson is in some pain. I don't believe we're gonna have a penalty here. But, oh, that's tough to see. First we see the referee catch a puck in the nose and now Tyson went hard. Great move right there. That oh. Ouch. That was a double whammy, the net and then the end boards. And I think a correct no penalty call though. Is oh, it, no. You know, he didn't get a trip on him. But right on that knee pad on the shim pad and that ain't exactly the most reinforced part of the shim pads. It's more down on the, the calf area, the shin area, and yeah, that's the, God, dang. It was a hurt. It was almost like a knee to knee hit. Really a great move to the net there, oh. too. And it was kind of one of those where you're almost hoping the guy scores because he made such a great move. But oh, yeah. Now the wings, obviously, we're not hoping he scores. Back the other way comes Charlie Gergen. Gergen looking for space, turns and fires and sails it up over the top. So we've had a little disjointed start to the second with the referee getting hurt and now Breck's best player getting hurt. Uh, I, we were talking about missing the net, like you said, it was the final, but they're definitely missing the net too much. They consistently got two bodies in front of the net. Perfect opportunity, just put it on the net. And let it come off the pads and see what you can do for a rebound because they've been successful at it. Icing call here against Breck. 13.33 to go in the middle period. Two to nothing. Armstrong Cooper, Jamison Essen, and Jonathan Essen scoring for the Wings in that first period. Gergen comes up with it here. Comes nice. back to the point. Malone shooting and he scores. Oh, nice. Jamin Malone threading it through traffic and the Wings will go up three to nothing. Amazing what happens when you actually get the puck deep and get it on net, and he was screened. I mean, you know, Drew Blake, I don't think he even saw it coming in. All of a sudden, it hit that corner just nicely, but Jamin made a nice, nice shot there. We've got his head up, got a good look at it, and let it go. Great pass right here, by the way. Be his first goal of the season. Yep, he screened, too, the goalie screened. Yeah, he's talking to his D like, you got to get out of the way and let me see it. They're going to give Max Burns and Roush the assist. 
I thought it was Gurr going to make the pass back, but perhaps not. There's a shot knocked down in the slot as Cook got his stick to it. So three nothing wings, getting a goal from their defenseman Malone that time. Burns playing it up the wall here, and some room to work with for Frankianis, but a good call here. It's going to be a penalty against Armstrong Cooper's Cook for a cross check. So he takes his second penalty. He has both of the penalties that the Wings have taken. And it'll come right. He got banged a little bit by. And then he comes back with a little retaliation. He's a little too fond of that cross check. And then what do they say? You often see the second guy there too a little yeah. bit. Although I have to admit. There are a lot of times where that maybe wouldn't have been called. I mean, it, it was a cross check by the definition of the rule, I think, but it wasn't as big a one as you might sometimes see called. Here's Tyson, who is back out there. That's good news. We have not got yes. our, our third official back, and we may not, but Tyson, after going hard to the net and hitting both the net and then the end boards, he is back out there for rack 23. Here's Nate Miller picking it up in the corner. So we see what the Mustangs can do on this power play. And now down three zip. Tyson drops it into the circle. They keep it moving out front. And then a collision with Lucas. And it's going to be just a faceoff, it looks like. No penalty as they rule that. Ooh, was he pushed in? Yeah, apparently. I think he was pushed in, yeah. Otherwise, he took the goalie out pretty clean. <laughs> And Lucas is a pretty big goaltender too. Let's see, see if we can see it's the defenseman. No, there is no room there as he went inside. Yeah, that was a good no call. That's a good no call. Mustangs got the draw, but it misfired back for Hogan. He'll have to run it down here. A minute ten to go in the power play for Brack. They really could use one here, trailing a three zip. Nate Miller works his way into the zone, drops it back. Now they slide it across here for Hogan. And they sneak that one through. Then Hogan took a check from Jamison Essen. Chop loose there. First to it is Rausch. And Rausch will throw one into the corner here. Ooh, and there's a collision at mid ice. The way goes on. Now pass drop back. Oh, and Miller was robbed by Lucas. Oh, what Just a great got a save. piece of that one. And a heavy hit thrown there by Hansen, and this one's going to be a cross check. So the Wings fans were kind of earlier thought that collision at center ice wasn't clean, and now Hansen will be called for the cross check here for Brack. So three of our four penalties tonight have been cross checks. Well, I like I like Reed Lucas of a goalie for Armstrong Cooper. I mean, really did a nice job here. He got a little bit out of his crease as he came out toward it, almost, but he got his arms up and he knew where to make the save. That was a nice save, and that was really not that. There wasn't much to that call. Sorry, but as you pointed out, they're starting to call a little tighter right now. So four aside here, and then the wings will get a power play. Blake the save there, and it's knocked to the corner. Nordset carrying it to the middle. He was stood up. Boy, the hitting's definitely picked up. Yep. Starting to be a little animosity between the teams. Wings to full strength, so they've got a power play. There's a loose stick behind the net there. As Johnson circles with it, putting it out front, but it was a little behind Jamison Essen there. Now Burns will knock it down, Sam Burns that is. Carried in, Burns is all alone. Oh, and they just got a stick on that one. The official picked up that loose stick for a moment. I thought he was gonna join the play there. He's carrying the stick like he was a, a player, but it was a good job to get that loose stick out of there. Turn around, try, and again, we're playing with only two officials, so the, uh, their workload increases quite a bit with that uh, injury to the third official. Now, Jamison oh, no. Essen is all alone walking in, and Blake the save. Boy, Breck, all of a sudden, they were caught way out of position. Johnson dropping it back. Here's a shot. Another penalty coming up. 
And things get physical at the end of that one as Tyson throwing a shot there and Jamison Edison celebrating that he helped to draw that one. And now it's interesting. Jonathan Essence, the big brother, yeah. and Coach Charleston told us he's a couple times he's taken penalties jumping in to defend his little brother, and I thought he might there, but maybe he's learned his lesson. It's because it looks like the only penalty is going to be that original one to Brack. So we're going to have 43 seconds of five on three here for the Wings. Just what Breck did not need to have happen. Boy, there's an open opportunity right there. I don't want Jamison and Essendon having a shot like that. And then at the end of this play, there is Tyson. They'd already called a penalty, and then he knocked down uh, Jonathan Essen and or excuse me, Jamison Essen, and there's Jonathan Essen walking over. And I think he's pointing at the scoreboard. It was either that or head to the box. Yeah. Oh, it looks like they are taking Jamison Essen as well there. But it's, I wonder if it could possibly be a double minor to, to Brack. Seven fifteen will be the time of these penalties, and now they're going to sort out. Okay, Jamison Essen is out of the box. So now what's going on? Okay. They are going to have five on three, I think. Yep. It, yeah, that's kind of unusual. You don't you normally see somebody go to the box unless they're definitively ordered to the box. <laughs> I don't know what we've got going on here now. Brack coaches wanting an explanation there. Now it looks like it'll be a single minor to Tyson. And two, nothing to AC. Two bad things here for the Mustangs. Number one, their top players in the box. And one of the better players from the wings is back out on the ice. Now it looks like the second power play group for the wings is out there now, which makes sense. They've been double shifting that uh, Essen Johnson line. Back out to the point here to Cook. Coach Charlson said their power play hasn't been very good and they've been working on it. And he said, I thought it was interesting. He said, we've tried to make sure that it's more fun too. We want to get the guys excited and moving the puck. Here's a shot, Blake, to stop on that one and the attempt from Malone, who scored the third goal of the night for the Wings. Malone walking into that circle. Now behind the net, they work with it. Thrown out front and that uh, one will come all the way through. Sometimes on a five on three, you're looking too hard for the perfect play. Yeah. Uh, they're set up in a diamond formation here to attack and uh, oh there's there a rebound go. goal malone put it on net and on the other side it was max burns there waiting and max burns will bury it here for the wings to make it a four to nothing game a power play goal nice goal nice play nice work all the way around for the uh, the wings here they're starting to get some things figured out here jay Be the fifth goal of the year for Max Burns. See Malone hitting the net. There you talked about Dan and a rebound allowed. Yep. That's his fifth goal of the year. And his first power play goal of the year for Max Burns. Malone will get that assist. And 8.05 the time of the goal. If you can hear the PA in the background, please ignore that. He's announcing how much time's remaining. It's elapsed time, obviously, if you've ever been to a hockey game. Knocked in by Riley Hansen. Oh, and turnover in behind as Johnson up with it there for the wings. Back out to the point, Morgan. They look for the tip, but it goes wide. Morgan's shot hits the defenseman, oh. and it's tucked in. Another goal here for the Wings. Jonathan Essen will get his second of the night. And the wheels are coming off right now for Breck. 
Just good play. Got the puck down low on the net. Essens are there. Essens put it away. Good shot there. Nice block, but not quite enough. And Blake got a piece of that one, but it trickled through. As Essen, they were unable to get a body on him. So Jonathan Essen will get his second of the night, fifth of the year, and now five to nothing wings. Well, the wing, wings are averaging about three goals a game. Now they got five goals here. I think Coach Charles is getting done what he wants to get done, and they're starting to put some pucks in the net and gain some confidence here. Unassisted goal, another penalty coming up to Breck as Eddie Martin will go for interference or roughing. That look just sums it right up there. What is going on here? What is going on? You can see some frustration here for the Mustang guy. He just kind of got him wrapped up and down he went. Yeah, he knew it when the ref pointed at him. Holding will be the call. Oh, and a near miss there. Little work behind the net. They're giving the second group a nice look here. They're still in that diamond formation or an upper umbrella, as we like to call it. So that forces five down low. Now watch for the puck to come up. Malone dropping it to the top here to Cook. Right back to Malone. Stick save there. The rebound's loose. Gergen hacking at it. And then it pops over the net. Wings get it right back. Malone dropping it. They'll reverse it here and then come behind the net again. Roush. Out front it comes from Malone and he scores. Received the nice pass and just shoveled it in and Malone will get his second. Nice work there. I mean, obviously when it goes in it looks nice, but they, they did a nice job interchanging and not staying stagnant at all on that power play either. Is that second or third power play goal for them tonight, Jay? Second. Second one. Look at that. Oh, nicely played. Give me that rebound. Give me that bat boy. Malone saying, I, I got pretty good hands for a defenseman, right? I mean, he, he did a nice job. And you see how happy Coach is for him there as well. All right, Coach Charles and talking to him before the game. I mean, this is the answer to everything he talked about to us before the game. So 6 nothing the lead balloons as Armstrong Cooper scored three goals in a little over two minutes. And Breck's not showing me anything that they're coming back real quick. This period has tilted totally in the wing side and a lot of it has to do with the penalties by the Breck Mustangs. That, the, those penalties have killed them this period. Gergen and Roush get the assist on Malone's second of the night and second of the season. And as we said, another power play goal there for the Wings. And the non-Essen Essen Johnson power play too, <laughs> which is good. Carried here by Spencer Rockefeller for Breck. Try to go back to him there. It's knocked down. Kozak getting it ahead. They can't get it out though. Kozak up with it again here for AC. Now nice. the pass coming to Jonathan Essen up that left wing. Dropping it back. Jamison Essen shooting. Ooh, and Blake. That was actually a sneaky little shot there as he faked like he was going to toe drag around and then just let that quick snapshot go. But that time Blake was ready. How come these guys are two and six? I mean, I can see right now why they kept Gent Gentry Academy. They only lost by a goal, 3 2. I mean, they look good, especially this first line, but the second line now is starting to get into the program and the flow. My cohort, uh, John Jacobson, went and uh, shot some highlights when the Wings were playing Spring Lake Park, and he, he said the same. He said, well, they looked pretty good that night. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> Here's a takeaway. Frankie Ennis carrying it to the middle for AC, and down he goes. 
Mustangs coming back. Brett really needs to regroup. The problem is there's still enough time in the period. I mean, they, they're not quite there yet where they can, you know, just kind of get things settled down at the uh, period break here as they've, and they turn it over here. That shot then deflected wide. Flip right back out front and Blake will cover that one up. They, they, they just, the Mustangs just seem they can't get out of each other of his way too. I mean, how many times have you seen them collide or, you know, have miscommunication on which way they're going and which way the puck's going. Um, but again, you know, we talked about it. We're watching 18 sophomores play in this game, folks. So we're going to see mistakes like that. Mustangs again having trouble get it out, getting it out. Now that pass deflecting back. Malone spins to get it. You know, the one thing you like to see about from the wings too here though is they, they kind of smell blood in the water. I mean, they're not backing off or letting up. They're coming in harder than ever, if anything. <laughs> Lose five straight games? Yeah, that would put a little po poke in your pony right there, I'll tell you. Comes loose out front. Floated back through center there. Malone back to gather for AC. Chipped ahead. Malone will come up with that one as well. well Jamin Malone is, I'm pretty impressed with him. He is really playing well right now. Nice, steady defenseman, cool, calm, big. And found out at the turkey trot, something I did not know. We got a penalty coming up is that Jamin Malone is the uh, nephew of. Uh, former Osseo player and coach Garrett Strote and, and his brother Brett. Uh, they're, so Jamin is uh, nephew in the hockey family, the Strotes. That's going to be interference there. Max Burns of AC will go. Well, a little bit of an opening now, and I think maybe you just, Breck sits back, you know, we'll see the penalty here. Yeah, puck had gone away. That's yeah. one thing I was thinking earlier is that for the most part, it feels like AC has done a pretty good job of kind of turning the other cheek and just letting Breck take these penalties and not retaliating. Well, that time they got a little bit too physical there. And uh, although I, I, that was one of those two that I'm not saying it wasn't interference, but he kind of was penalized because he was the stronger of the two and knocked him down. I, I think also, I mean, they kind of were both going for it a little bit. And, and uh, again, I'm not criticizing, especially when they're down to two officials, but I think he was, you know, didn't get the benefit of the doubt because he got the had the little more leverage on it. That's well, got a little chippy too, and I think they're going to reassert themselves. The referees to control this game, and just the opposite of what we saw in the Viking Bear game last night. That shot sailing up high. Again, I can't remember the last time I saw a lengthy stretch of only two officials. I mean, it, hats off to these two guys. If you're just joining us, their third member of their crew. Took a puck right in the nose, and and uh, I have to assume at this point probably not coming back. Maybe not still in the arena. Even I, I would, I, you know, you don't want to speculate, but it certainly appeared that it could have been a broken nose. And oh my gosh, those are so fun to have. I've had two of them, and that is not fun. All right, let's see what Breck can get done here. Oops, not a great start on that one. Is it? Uh, they'll have to circle back and get it. Hogan's pass was deflected, and that's the thing—you have to fight being discouraged right now and throwing in the towel if you're them. I mean, obviously it's no fun to be down like this. Here's Tyson walking in. Ooh, and Lucas just fought that one off. AC did a nice job of getting back into their box, but they dropped back too far and let Tyson have free reign there. There's a save by Lucas, and now we got another penalty coming up here against the Wings. Really? Yeah, it looks really? like Dayton Franke's going to go here. I got a problem with that call. That was just a good battle in front of the net, and Mr. Franke's a big, strong boy, and he knocked down the Breck Mustang. Another look oh, right there. That's a little bit different. Got chop with the cross check. And then you'll see later in that play, the Breck guy came over and held his teammate back. Said, "Look, we're going to have a two-man power play here. Get out of there. Don't, don't retaliate." 
Okay, so that was smart. Tyson up with it. In the second look, Dan, do you rescind your uh, problem with that call or no? I do rescind <laughs> it, yes. I was wrong. Tyson knocking it down to the corner. From the circle, Lucas fighting off that shot from Kern. And then the wing's able to clear it. First penalty is over, so now five on four. Hogan leaving it for Kern. Now Hanson a backhand try. That one sailing wide. What I like is the Mustangs have been shooting the puck on this power play. And they need to do they put need to put every bit of rubber on Lucas as they can. Back into the circle and then throwing across. Hogan trying to get there. Ooh, and that one deflecting up into the crowd. And after seeing the referee get hurt earlier, you know everybody's going to be a little <laughs> extra high alert. That one was deflected, so it wasn't coming all that fast by that point. But great sight lines here, but at the same time, you're in, you're in range if a puck comes sailing up. Hey, partner, keep your head up. <laughs> keep your head up. I was counting on you to, you know, do the glove save if one comes my way. Here comes Jamison Essen, short-handed rush. Essen, and he's going to circle it back out of there and yes. rag some time. That was a senior move, not a sophomore move. Well done. Now he's getting a little dumb. I was going to say, if he coughs it up here, I he might change my mind mm -hmm. on that. Under a minute to go in the period, under a half minute to go in what was at one time a five-on-three power play, now a five-on-four. So the Wings have done a nice job on the kill here. Pass gets past everyone and a race for it here. Well, the pace has been good this period. They've been going fast. I mean, I think there's been a lot of good skating going on and even with the chippiness. Cook took a hit, or excuse me, Roush took a hit as he tried to get that one out. Under 20 seconds to go in the period. Puck freed up. Jamison Essen got dumped. And it'll be cleared back in. Lucas going to tap it aside. They'll look to counter quickly here. Gergen giving it over. Jamison Essen firing. He might have had a little more time than he realized there, but now we'll get to the end of the second period. And what a period it was for the Wings as they dominate four goals in the period for Armstrong Cooper. Two of them by that guy, Jamin Malone, the defenseman. Our score after two. Armstrong Cooper six and Breck nothing. We'll have second period highlights and then our third period of hockey coming up here on CCX Sports. Worried about your friend, but don't know how to reach out? You can say how are you or get a fake tattoo. You can ask with an app if it works for you. You can chat with them in VR. It's all good if you think you should check in. Yeah, you should. Whatever, whatever, whatever gets you talking. Reach out to a friend about their mental health. Whatever, whatever, whatever gets you talking. Learn how you can help at SeizeTheAwkward.org. And welcome back here. Unfortunately, a bit of a lopsided one. Not unfortunately if you're an Armstrong Cooper fan, though. They played great. <laughs> they had lost five in a row. They scored four goals in the second and will take a 6 nothing lead into the third as we check out some highlights from a very dominant second period for Armstrong Cooper. First, though, Tyson going to the net and ouch. Hits the net and slides in the board. Fortunately, he did come back. Here's Malone threading one through from the point there to make it three nothing early in the period. But then things really got going their way. Penalty taken there by the Mustangs. And here's Malone putting one on net. And then Malone, this time the rebound goal on the far side is it's knocked in by Burns, Max Burns. That was a power play goal that made it four nothing. And they were not done, only about a minute later getting another one. Well, it's first the penalty that uh, helped Breck unravel. There's Malone getting the last goal of the period. 
Yeah, he stuck down in the slot real nice there, and just nobody noticed him, and he banged it away. So a six to nothing lead here for Armstrong Cooper as they have uh, dominated in the shots. Both teams taking some penalties there in that second. The difference is uh, the wings really converting and Bruck unable to do so. We will head to period number three here and at least to start we'll have running time based on a six goal margin. Armstrong Cooper six, Bruck nothing. We'll be right back here to New Hope Arena on CCX. Today I'm going to talk to you about physics. Come on in, girls. Let's go. This is the first rocket to get humans to Mars. Really tall. I'm a rocket structural engineer designing and building parts of the rocket. You are the generation that will be stepping foot on Mars. Do I have a group of astronauts on my hands? Yes. You can become a rocket scientist or whatever else you want to be. And welcome back here to New Hope Arena along with Dan Fick and I'm Jay Wilcox. Happy holidays from all of us at CCX Sports and want to mention again Armstrong Cooper fans can watch tomorrow night, Wednesday night, the 22nd. We'll be right back here to see the Wings in action against the Hopkins Royals here. It'll be an interesting third period here, Dan. Obviously, Breck frustrated, not feeling the greatest about the way things have gone. The Wings have had everything go their way, but Now's where you kind of ask for your team, let's see what you're made of a little bit here, a little bit of a gut check time. Yeah, we're probably not going to come back and win the game, but can we play disciplined hockey? Uh, can we work hard and come yes. back and at least, you know, make a game of it or at least stay in there? Well, you know, like I said, you got to change your format too. Get the puck deep down inside Armstrong Cooper's zone and go after it. You know, get let's get some one-on-one -on -one battles to win and not get chippy about it, but do it right. And uh, yeah, this is a this is a time to figure out how much intestinal fortitude do you have. I mean, how do you like that big zero sitting up on that scoreboard? That's the first thing I'd point to. Let's get that thing gone first. And if you're the wings too, I think you gotta you gotta stay disciplined here too. Don't get caught up into a retaliation game and don't be taking penalties on their end either. I mean, obviously they killed those off, but it's still not something they want to see happening no. either. And I'll tell you what, the S and S and Johnson line ain't going to get much ice time this period. Cook controlling it here for the wings. Drops it over now to Jaeger. Behind the net, they work it. We are five aside to begin the period, which wasn't the case for all that much of the second. That shot sailing through and bounces to the corner. Mustangs looking to reverse it, but first to it there was Cook. Now Tyson. Shrugging off a check there and got Look the pass that. away. Oh, they couldn't get it out though. Turnover. Here's a quick chance and a goal. Quickly becomes seven nothing for AC as Frankie Annis will bury that one here for Armstrong Cooper. Nice play, beautifully set up on a turnover. And Tyson was doing the best he could to get it out of there, but I'll tell you what, that deflated very, very well for the for the wings intercepted it and they've got the pass down low and just a great shot and it's just put it where he needed to do you know, I'm not even going to Drew Blake has just been barraged tonight they're getting on shot 25 to 9 right now by the way damn third official is back is he ah that's nice he is he is First varsity goal for Annis and Cook will get the assist. 41 seconds, the time of the goal here, and the, the clock should not be stopping. We got to notice that here. Somebody in the penalty box is noticing and was saying, but uh, that's got to be more on top of that. The, and it's actually the on ice officials should have pointed that out as well. We got running time well, here. AC should have pointed out. They got a game tomorrow night, man. Let's not be out here any longer than we have to because we got a game tomorrow night that's going to be important to us. That's a section game, really. Yeah, Armstrong Cooper, we haven't really talked about that yet. Back in 
section 6 double A now. They have been in class A past few years. That one knocked down maybe going to be a hand pass. Ooh, and then shooting that puck after the whistle was Roush, and I don't think they like that. I think he's going to possibly be, yeah, he's going to go. Uh, probably an unsportsmanlike conduct, I would guess. Well, good, and I'm glad the referees are controlling that. That means that uh, Blake Mustang doesn't have to stand up for his, his goaltender, and frankly, you take a shot at my goalie after the whistle, I don't care if I'm taking a penalty. I'm getting you. Yeah, I agree. I like this call. Uh, the, no, yeah. He clearly should have known that uh, that he couldn't shoot that puck anymore. But I still don't understand why. Do, how are we not knowing it's running time? Yeah, it is unsportsmanlike conduct. That one driven up into the netting here. And it'll be cleared down the rink. That pass a little too far. Frankie back to gather it here for the wings, and he'll get it back out to center. So Breck trying to get something going on the power play. Down by a touchdown, though, down 7 nothing after that early goal in this third period. For the wings, there's a shot on net. Lucas will hang on. Good. I'm okay with that. Good job. Even as a bit out, get some shots on net. You ain't going to score unless you put the puck on the net. And you never know what's going to happen. Well, tonight you're going to get more bang for your buck here. We're going to get a lot of hockey without the running time going. Tyson up with it here for the Mustangs. A minute to go in their power play. Pass drop back. He tried to throw it way across to Kern. He'll retrieve it off the wall. Tyson gets it right back to Kern. A little give and go. That one tipped. Tyson kept it alive, though. Now Hansen. Kern. Tyson will let it rip. Rebound chance. It's a goal. Mustangs get on the board for the first time as Miller will pump it in. And it'll be a 7-1 hockey game. Well, Nate Miller, there he is. In good position in front here as he puts it away, but they need more from him right now. Good shot by Tyson, and then Miller's sitting up there behind, higher up in the uh, slot, and he finally puts it away. Well, mission number one accomplished. The goose egg is off the scoreboard. Here's Tyson carrying it behind the net. Tyson, nice little move there. Now they get it out front. Breck, let me say we're not done scoring yet here. The power play obviously went away with that goal, but uh, they have and a little take down there, but legally so apparently. Well, as Lou Grant would say, they're showing some spunk <laughs> by Josh. Here's Hansen taking that pass. Lucas a stick save on that one. Yeah, I like that. They're getting two guys on the puck. Attaway Mustangs. That's a fight back. I'm not rooting for the Mustangs. I just want to see them step up and, and change the way this game is being played by them. Oh, bad mistake there by Essen yes. trying to bring that one out front of his own net. Now it goes off the back of the net. Franke looking to reverse it here. Swept into the corner by John McBean. 
Tip down low. It goes off the side of the net. Bounces around out front. Now the wings finally come up with it. But then Kendra Jamison Essen skate. Jonathan Essen getting it out of there. No ice here. The race is on after it. Ooh, and Jamison Essen tattooed McBean. Puck pops free at the blue line. There's a stick flying in the air there as Nordseth lost his stick. Centering pass comes all the way out top. Ooh, nice little move there by Hogan. Ooh, and Lucas fighting it off. And now get a whistle to stop play here, and they kind of separate, it looks like. Well, I like this. The Mustangs by a little fight back, you know, and they're really pushing hard. They're winning some one-on-one -on -one battles, and they're playing hard, supporting each other. They're getting two men on the puck down low, which I think is what they need to do all night. And uh, moving it around, their points gotten a lot more active too. Oh. Someone's got to remind the wings that there's still a lot of hockey left. Sam Burns throwing a check there. Yeah, they've. Uh, again, you give Breck certainly the credit too, but the wings definitely have come out, you know, kind of lackluster, like, oh, we've got this big lead. It, it's hard not to relax a little bit when you kind of dominate the first two periods like that, but they're not liking what they're seeing early in this third, I'm sure. Well, I don't know. Uh, as a coach, I'm coming off a five game losing streak. I don't want to see any light up. Thank you very much. But good for Breck. This is good. This is going to build these, these sophomores up to know that. You know, you just can't play one period, but at least you're showing that you, you care about it and, and you're working hard for your teammates and yourself. Bank to head here to Jaeger. Too much traffic to get through there. Spun around to Kern, but he loses it. Jaeger up with it. Oh, the float of that pass over it just got away there from Cook. Now here's Jaeger a shot and Blake making the catch. He didn't get all of that one, but Blake having to squeeze that fluttering puck. He got enough of it. That's all he needs. A good setup again. Jaeger in shooting position. He's been that way a lot tonight. A little bit of a flutter puck. And that one deflecting just wide is out front as Frankie Annis, who got his first varsity goal not too long ago. Yeager turns, fires. That one pops way up in the air. Now Morgan putting it toward the net. Knocked down, but guess who? Yeager took it away briefly. Morgan will circle back to get it. And it got away. Riley Hansen chasing it down. Tyson at the point. Shooting and that one rising. Shot goes up over the net. Wings will take the opportunity to change here. Tyson tipping that one in and he will head off on a change for Brack. Franke back to play it. Long pass right on the tape and Jonathan Essen. Nice shot on net there but the stop made. And Dan, I don't want to put my foot in my mouth, but I got to believe. Is there some rule change that we don't know about that in terms of the running time? Is that a possibility? I was going to ask you the I same a, question. I have a hard time believing that everybody in the rink wouldn't realize that it was in past years it's supposed right. to be running time. But Coach of the winning team, I'd be saying something. Like I said, especially to it, I got a game tomorrow night. Right. So, I again, uh, apologize if we are wrong about that. Could be that we just haven't heard of a rule change, but I kind of find it hard to believe that they would change that rule. In fact, you'd almost be more likely to see it now with some lopsided game. Johnson had that one jabbed away. Good play by uh, Atari. A break there, defense. Malone sliding it across. Oh, Ooh, and Jonathan Essen denied. That was maybe one of the better side to side yeah. moments we've seen from Blake tonight. 
as he got he got a good read on that one and got his body squared up to a Jonathan Essen looking for the hat trick and didn't quite get it. Great pass right there and he let it go. He's ready to go. You know this Essen 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 Johnson line. Pretty good line. I think should be able to compete with pretty much everybody in the Northwest Suburban. Cross into the other circle there. That one deflecting up, and everybody lost sight briefly. Went into the crowd, and we'll get another stoppage here. Going to have a goaltender change for Armstrong Cooper as Henry Dimmich will come on now to replace Lucas. In the wings net here. Junior. Dimich has played you know, take one year, uh, uh, parts of three games. He's 0 and 1. That shot blocked up and out of play. Well, for Blake or for Breck right now. I knew I was going to do that once during the game. Well, right when now. they have a couple of players whose last name is Blake, it's <laughs> easy to see why you would. I, I, I get it. Uh, next up, they got uh, Southwest Christian. Big game in Minnehaha Academy. Uh, two that they really got to get a win on if they want to keep some kind of tempo in the uh, section. And their league. Gergen double team but got the pass away. Out in front it comes. Ooh, and Blake making a nice save there as Cole Makozek, the defenseman, joining the play, and he got away a nice little shot. It was a, a well timed pass. And Drew Blake still competing in there for the Mustangs as he's made a couple of nice saves here in the last couple of minutes. Well, he's seen his teammates step up here in this period. They're playing way better hockey. Way better hockey and keep him motivated. He's staying right in on it. I like it. That one will come in on that again. So the Wings now they're going to play Hopkins tomorrow night. Then December 30th they get Moundsview, and January 6th they get Coon Rapids back in Northwest Suburban League action here. Hanson sliding the pass ahead, knocked down, oh. but it ends up right with uh, the Breck player Kern anyway, and then they'll turn back. Frankianis carrying it here for the wings. Chases it down himself as he comes in behind. Had it chopped loose though by Tyson. Tyson trying hard to get up that left side. Boy, he would have had a possible uh, two on one there if he'd been able to get by that traffic. Kern keeping possession here. Now he'll slide it across. Connects with McBean. McBean gathering it again here. Now Tyson. Played down deep. Malone fanned on that one a little bit. And yeah, Wings just have definitely not been as sharp here in this third. Here's a great chance. And there's Dimmich having to make his first stop right there. And he's a much smaller goaltender than, than Lucas. And he gets a little had on the forehead there as he was ready. Or as we like to say, diminutive. No, it's good though. He's getting some experience, you know, and he can jump in. He needs to get some uh, playing time, and I think it was a good call by Coach Charleston because his regular goal, he's got to be ready tomorrow night too. Johnson puts on the brakes here, giving it to Jonathan Essen. That went off the side of the net. Oh, and then it comes right out front as Johnson put it into the slot. Franke back to chase it down here for the wings. That pass doesn't connect, and it's going to be icing against Armstrong Cooper. I'm going to check that out uh, tonight. Look at the rules, MSHSL rules, to see if that rule has been changed. We're getting word from our truck that they did look it up, and that there's no indication that it has been. I, I just find it very bizarre that that we would be going this way. That the coaches and and the uh, scoreboard operator and the on-ice officials somehow haven't communicated. That again, we believe that. 
It should have been running time this whole third period. Mm -hmm. yeah, and I just can't believe that Armstrong Cooper would want to keep, like I said, with the game of the night, take that time. And I, and I don't think it was a situation ever in the past where it's like, well, if both coaches agree, we won't do it that way. I don't think so. Oh, no. No, That's no, not no, a no, thing. no, 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 no. <laughs> You can't do that. That pass doesn't quite connect with Oliver Cadu, and now the wing's back to get it. Under six to play in. Dan, I don't want to jinx this, but I, I'm kind of impressed to see that we haven't gone to all-out chipping us in the third like I thought we might with this margin. I mean, I, I don't want to say it too early because it still could happen, but we were both kind of talking about that, that we hope it doesn't get you know, like that in this third. Well, Coach Lang at, at Brack, I, you know, I, I'm sure he addressed that. I mean, they, they took some dumb penalties in the second period. And uh, just because of chippiness and stuff, that's not how you win high school hockey games in the state of Minnesota. That one floating into the Mustang. And we got another there. penalty. It'll be a high stick against Brack. Ty Holden. I was so impressed with that ref that came back after getting smacked in the mouth. Boy, he got hit hard. So AC to the power play. They've had a couple of power play goals tonight. They're, that's of the one or the many things tonight for them to like. I think them getting the power play going has got to be one of them too because I think Coach was saying they'd only had like three power play goals all year. Yeah. Which... Well, they you came know. in two for 25. Yeah. Two for 25. So, but the other part I like here, too, is other kids now who stood in fourth line and getting a chance to play. So, they're getting experience and all this, and I think that's good. Plus, he's, you know, getting his goaltender, his reserve goaltender some time. So, in a way, that's worked good for them. Roush taking it behind the net. Gergen is out front. Tyson up with it for Breck. And he will float it out. Miller, they have a chance for two on one. Hansen cutting down the slot. Miller putting it out front. And it's in. It's a goal for the Mustangs. And they just got enough of it to get it by Dimmich. And Breck now has scored two in a row. And this one a short-handed marker. Presumably be Hansen will get it, but we'll see. I don't see how it can't be anybody but Hansen. That was fairly obvious. Well, Miller made a nice play there. He really held it good enough. The defense was trying to block it off, but he got, got it taken care of. Oh, yeah. Yep. That's pretty. Oh, that is pretty. Good angle on the stick. Well, Dimmich couldn't do much about that. Miller will get the assist. Oh. And, and that one sent out front. And, and being honest, Dan, again, uh, Assuming we we're still right about the that second goal, the game should have been done by now, really. I mean, yep. for, for Armstrong Cooper. Now here's Breck coming back the other way. Here's Miller and Hansen again. Here's the shot. Ooh, and Dimmich fought it off, and it goes to the corner. Makozak. And tip to the Breck line. Oh, and a great turnaround pass. A 2 on 0 Miller sliding it over, and the shot just wide by Hansen. They were gassed at the end of a shift right there. But when the puck miraculously ended up on his stick, Miller and Hansen had no choice but to go for it there. They didn't hit the net. Well, it's, it's highly unlikely. They're probably going to have it. You can, oh, my heavens. That one's off the crossbar, and then the rebound is uh -oh. deflected in as Oliver Cadu will score for Breck. And, boy, I really thought this play was offside. It seemed like it had come out of the uh, wing zone there, but I guess not. And so now Breck will get three in a row. Well, here's the deal, too. I mean, I'm not saying it's going to happen, but this is getting close. It's getting a little tighter. Rebound there. Oh, nice positioning. 24 is in a good place. Good job by Cadu to stick yeah. with that one after the first one went off the crossbar. Oh my gosh, can you imagine if they got close enough to tie this thing up with that running time would have meant? There's a shot on that. 
and and of course now there shouldn't be running time anyway. They're nope. back down to four goal margin, but 3:13 to play in the game. What a weird one is this one. Uh, Little Viking Steelers like when you <laughs> thought it was a laugh for a couple weeks ago, and all of a sudden it wasn't. Now, granted, there's still four goals behind. I, I don't, yeah. I don't foresee Breck, you know, tying this one up or anything. But gosh, it's really, really much turned in the third. Well, when you when you and I talk about in between in periods here too, about come on, Breck, man up. Are you going to show us something? They certainly have. I have been pretty impressed with this period. They played well. Trying to get it out to the net. Turn around, try. Here's how oh, and fired just high by Jaeger. Now Hansen up with it here for the Mustangs. Hansen carrying it in. Trying to turn the corner. Oh, and it slides right out front. There's Jaeger. Two on two as they hit the line. Jaeger trying to drag it around the D, but nicely done by McBean. And now a penalty coming up here. Ooh, and then a high, hard hit thrown by Kern after the original penalty was against the Mustangs. See if they'll do just one or two. Well, if you have to take both, I bet. Yeah, they'll take both. Franke will go for AC and Kern for. Mustangs. Well, take a look here. There's the original hit by Franke. And then Kern coming in right there at the end. Carried up the left side and jab loose right at the line. Breck trying to get something going back the other way. Patty Green going to the net. He was tied up before he could get a shot away. Now Rausch. Lined up there. Tyson did a nice job staying with him. Now Gergen. Couldn't get to that one as it's chopped away to the corner. A minute 45 to go. Armstrong Cooper did have a 7 0 lead. It's now 7 3. A little give and go as they try to attack the net there, but knocked away. As we said, a much better compete level for Breck and yeah. the third here, no doubt. Yeah, they showed up to play and they got a few goals, and that's good. That'll chop them up a little bit anyway. It'll make Coach happier. Tyson's pass off of the fenceman's skate. Now he takes it right back, though. And then taken back the other direction here by Burns. Roush tipping it into the Breck zone. Approaching a minute to go. Atari gets to the center line and dumps it in as he took a check. So we go under a minute to play here. And there's Dimmich fighting that one off. And this one will be in his equipment, and he'll hang on for us to face off with 47 to go here in the third. A 7 to 3 lead for Armstrong Cooper trying to win their third game of the season. And obviously, looking like they will, although it's not in quite the runaway fashion that it looked like it was going to be for a while. As Breck getting three straight here in the third, one early on a power play, then a short end goal, and then Cadu scoring as well. Well, it's been good explosion experience for Henry Dimitri. He ran into a little adversity, but he's held his own pretty good. Oh, Johnson oh. dropping it back. They nearly the hat trick for Jonathan Essen there. But a beautiful save. Nice play. Back across. Johnson receiving here at center. Here is Jamison Essen under 20 seconds left. Dropping it back. Couldn't get the shot away, and now it's pushed wide of the net. First time we've seen this line in about 10 minutes. And that's the one bad thing for Brack. I don't think we would have seen them anymore, but they got three goals up there. And, mm -hmm. and that's going to tick us down to zero. So 
dominant performance for most of the night for the wings and Brett coming up with three straight at the end but mm -hmm. it will be Armstrong Cooper winning it by a score of seven to three as they get their third victory of the season for Brack obviously overall not a great night but at least they came back in that third and, and you know did some good things made it made a little bit of a game of it. I think they found themselves a little bit now a little more confidence you walk out of here seven nothing get playing like they did that doesn't set yourself up well for the next few games but I think they played themselves back into some respectability and now the coaching staff has something to work with, with them. Like I said how the wings are two and six I have no clue. I have no clue. Now three and six with the win here tonight. Armstrong mm -hmm. Cooper seven and Breck three. And again, we'll be back here Wednesday night, the 22nd, for Armstrong Cooper taking on Hopkins. Hope you've enjoyed this one here on CCX. For Dan Chicken and all of our crew, MJ Wilcox, good night from New Hope Arena.